Welcome to the World Brief. The content of the briefing includes Europe's security elite braces for Trump, searches for backup plans. Australia's barley sales to China boom as wine decision pending. My Little Pony event shut down by Moscow police over LGBTQ propaganda. African hero Nyerere honored by new statue. For Harris, promises to Ukraine prove harder to make amid GOP resistance. Europe's security elite braces for Trump, searches for backup plans. Washington Post. European leaders are said to be concerned about the possibility of another Trump presidency, as they consider his time in office as a period that threatened the international order that Europe has relied on for security. With many fearing a return to his administration, Reuters reports that Europeans are seeking to engage with former President Trump and his allies on security, but have been struggling to do so. The Munich Security Conference saw discussions about the war in Ukraine and European Union politics, with Trump and Trumpism dominating the behind-the-scenes chatter. European officials in Munich said they were paying closer attention to polling numbers, with one person asking about Biden's health and another asking about the possibility of a contested Democratic convention. There is also fear among European leaders that a second Trump presidency would mark the end of NATO, as Trump has previously said that he would encourage Russia to do whatever the hell they want to NATO members that don't spend enough on defense. Australia's barley sales to China boom as wine decision pending. Bloomberg. Australia's barley sales to China have surged since Beijing lifted tariffs in August 2022, with China accounting for 90% of Australia's exports of barley in December. The rapid return of China as the dominant buyer of Australian barley raises questions about the success of Australia's efforts to diversify export markets. China is set to make a decision next month on reviewing tariffs on Australian wine. My Little Pony event shut down by Moscow police over LGBTQ propaganda. South China Morning Post. A fan event for the cartoon series My Little Pony in Moscow was investigated by police over alleged LGBTQ propaganda. The Miyamore Convention was closed by organizers after officers arrived at the venue but found no evidence of illegal activity. The convention, which caters to adult fans of the show, had faced previous concerns in Russia over fears that it could violate the country's anti-LGBTQ legislation. In December 2023, the Russian film database Kinopoyesk changed the rating of the animated series to 18-plus after a court declared the global LGBTQ movement to be an extremist organization. African hero Nyerere honored by new statue. BBC. Julius Nyerere, the founding father of Tanzania, has been honored with a statue outside the African Union, AU, headquarters in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Nyerere led Tanzania from independence in 1961 until 1985 and played a key role in the creation of the Organization of African Unity, which later became the AU. He promoted the use of Swahili as a common language and advocated for African socialism or Ujima. Despite economic difficulties, Nyerere oversaw improvements in healthcare and literacy and remains revered in Tanzania. He is the third leader to be honored with a statue outside the AU headquarters. For Harris, promises to Ukraine prove harder to make amid GOP resistance. New York Times. The political uncertainty in the United States has destabilized the coalition backing Ukraine, just days before the second anniversary of Russia's invasion, according to the New York Times. House Republicans are blocking $60 billion in security aid to Ukraine, and the upcoming election could result in former President Donald Trump returning to office. Vice President Kamala Harris tried to reassure Ukrainians and Europeans of the Biden administration's commitment, but her personal pledge may not be enough. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed concern over the lack of American support and the importance of the assistance package. Police called to investigate alleged LGBTQ plus propaganda at Russian My Little Pony convention. Associated Press. Police in Moscow were called to investigate alleged LGBTQ plus propaganda at a fan event dedicated to the cartoon series My Little Pony, organizers said Sunday. The Miyamore convention was closed by organizers early Saturday after officers arrived at the venue in the Russian capital, despite police being unable to find evidence of illegal activity. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six from the Six Degrees World, your resident observer and presenter of the Six Degrees Brief. Today, we have quite an interesting mix of news to dive into, so let's get started. First up, we have the concern among European leaders about the possibility of another Trump presidency. It seems that Europe is still recovering from the shockwaves of Trump's previous term, and they are now actively searching for backup plans. They are even considering engaging with Trump and his allies on security, which I must say, sounds like trying to tame a wild beast. But hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. 
Moving on to the land down under, Australia's barley sales to China have been booming since Beijing lifted tariffs in August. China now accounts for a whopping 90% of Australia's barley exports. This raises some questions about Australia's efforts to diversify its export markets. It's like putting all your barley in one basket, or should I say, all your hops in one pint glass. Next, we have a rather peculiar news story from Moscow. A fan event for the cartoon series My Little Pony was shut down by the police over alleged LGBTQ propaganda. Yes, you heard that right. Apparently, the Russian authorities were worried that colorful animated ponies would somehow corrupt the minds of the attendees. I can't help but wonder what they think the ponies are up to behind closed stable doors. In more uplifting news, the founding father of Tanzania, Julius Nyerere, has been honored with a statue outside the African Union headquarters in Addis Ababa. Nyerere played a key role in the creation of the AU and promoted the use of Swahili as a common language. It's heartwarming to see leaders being recognized for their contributions, especially in a world that sometimes forgets its history. Lastly, we have the political uncertainty in the United States destabilizing the coalition backing Ukraine. House Republicans are blocking security aid to Ukraine, and the upcoming election could potentially bring back former President Trump. Vice President Kamala Harris tried to reassure Ukraine of the Biden administration's commitment, but it seems that her promises are falling on deaf ears. It's like trying to convince a cat that it should be a vegetarian. Good luck with that. So there you have it, folks. A whirlwind of news from around the world. Now, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on these stories? Do you think Europe should engage with Trump on security? Are you concerned about the lack of American support for Ukraine? Let's discuss and see where our six degrees world takes us. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief via email.